Hey, 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 what's going on, good people? What is going on? I am Rochelle Key Parks. I am your health motivator, guys. And today, listen, we're going to talk about something that's very important. Um, it's something that plagues probably uh, uh, three-fourths of our population. <laughs> like, honestly, um, high blood pressure. Okay, today we're going to talk about high blood pressure. You know, I said... If you walk into any room, okay, um, I'll just say most rooms, okay, uh, whether you're going into a a school, um, a grocery store, uh, a, a conference room, any any building, okay, wh wherever you are, um, probably two thirds of the people will be dealing with high blood pressure. That's that's a reality. Most people are walking around with high blood pressure. Do you understand me? So you say, Coach, like what is high blood pressure? And, and so just simply put, it is the, it's the, the force of the blood pushing against the arteries, okay? Um, as your heart pumps, right? So as your heart pumps, the force of the blood that's pushing up against the arteries, right? And so when, when, when your heart pumps, right? And the, and the, when your heart beats, how about that? When your heart beats, like that's, that's when your the pressure is at its highest. Okay. When the heart beats and the, and the uh, force of the blood is pushing against the arteries, that's when, that's when the uh, pressure is at its highest, that's the systolic pressure, right? In between heartbeats, that time in between the heartbeats is when your pressure is at its lowest and that's your diastolic, okay? So normally when you see the blood pressure written, it's the systolic, which is the top number over the diastolic pressure. You say, what is the normal? Like what what, do, what type of number are we looking for, Coach Rose? So typically you want your uh, systolic pressure, which is your top number to be lower than 120, okay? And you want your bottom number, which is your diastolic pressure to be less than 80. So you want the top number to be less than 120, the bottom number to be less than 80. Now it used to, you know, and you know what's funny about that? It kind of, um, like the norm changes depending on the people, you know, nor the norm, like average changes depending on the people. I remember a time where it used to be, um, you know, normal was 120 over 80, right? And then it went, it went up higher. I remember normal was, uh, people were saying it was 130 over 80. I'm like, no, that's high, you know, uh, 125 over 80. And so now they're saying they want um, the top number to be below 120 and the bottom number to be below 80, okay? That's where you want it to be. Now, if you have a blood pressure that's um, 125 over, you know, 85, doesn't necessarily mean you, you need medication, Okay. Um, but we still, we want to get that number. We want to get that top number below 120 and that bottom number below, <laughs> below 80. Okay. So, so here's a, a few questions that, that people have been asking. One question is, is medication necessary to control high blood pressure? Is medication necessary to control high blood pressure? The, 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 the simple answer is no, this is not necessary to control high blood pressure. Um, if you're not willing to do the work, okay, to lower your blood pressure, then yes, you may need medication, right? If, if you're not willing to do the work, if, if, you, if your number is so high that, that it becomes a health risk, then yes, you may need to get on medication first and then start to make some changes. And, and, and if you do those things, um, that medication will be short-lived, okay? I'm helping people every day do that, right? So if you do it, if you do the work, you'll get the results. And so when it says, is medication necessary to control high blood pressure? The, the real answer is no, it's not necessary. Uh, but if you're unwilling to do the work to lower your blood pressure, then it's absolutely necessary because it can be a, it can be a health risk, okay? Um, and so there are different, you know, different types of medication that some people take, lisinopril, amlodipine, hydrochlorothiazide, like there are many, many things that people, um, met metaprolol, um, many things that people take um, to lower their blood pressure. And so it um, says, what are some side effects? You know, first of all, every every medication has a side effect. Okay, every medication has a side effect. Every drug has a side effect. Know that, okay? Um, and so high blood pressure medication is no different. So some side effects possible, right? Potential side effects of high blood pressure medication. There are a few of them. Um, I see things like cough, um, 
And some of these are, you know, kind of strange, right? Cough, diarrhea, constipation, diz dizziness or lightheadedness. I hear that, you know, most often dizziness, lightheadedness. Now watch this, erection problems. Come on, man. I know that to be true too. Okay, I've had many um, clients that I've helped and they said, Coach Ro, you know, and these are men. They said, I got to get off this medication because it's messing with my manhood, okay? This medication is messing with my manhood. So erection problems is a, is a, is a real thing, you know, with high blood pressure medication. Um, feeling nervous, right? Um, feeling tired, weak, drowsy, a lack of energy. These are just different different side effects, a headache. Uh, yep, I've known people do that too. Like, oh, that medication gives me a headache. Um, nausea, vomiting. These are side effects, you all, okay? Do you want any of these things? These are, none of these are good, okay? Nobody wants to have any of these side effects. I don't, we just need to do the work, okay? Just do the work, right? To get, to get off this medication, do the work to normalize your blood pressure. That's all you have to do, just do the work. Um, and so here's another question people ask, um, how often should I monitor my blood pressure and what is considered a normal blood pressure? So for the people that I coach, I tell them two times, two times a day, right? You should always check your blood pressure as soon as you wake up, right? As soon as you wake up before, before you uh, uh, get going with your day, because I promise you, as soon as you wake up and you start dealing with people, you know, checking the phone, answering phone calls, talking to people, like your, your mood, like everything can change in an instant. So as soon as you wake up, like my husband, what he does is um, he checks his blood pressure while he's still in the bedroom, like the blood pressure machine cuff and everything is in the bedroom. So before he like leaves the room and starts interacting with the rest of the world, he, what, he checks it in his room where he's the calmest, okay, as soon as he wakes up. And so uh, first thing in the morning, okay, checking your blood pressure, and then um, before you go to bed at night, right before you go to bed at night, those are the two times I recommend checking it. Um, but I will also say, um, don't take your medication blindly, okay? Especially once you start to um, do it, once you start doing the work to lower your numbers, like that really can have an effect pretty quickly, okay? You understand God's food can affect the, the, the blood pressure and the blood sugar like really, really quickly. And so don't blindly take medication. Right, I always say before you take medication, check your numbers. Okay, that goes for blood sugar and blood pressure. Before you take medication, check your numbers. Don't blindly take it because that's what you're just in the habit of doing. Because once you start doing the work to lower your numbers, those numbers can lower, right? So, um, but two times when you wake up in the morning, as soon as you wake up and right before you go to bed, right? Um, you can say, Coach Roll, what if I, if I wake up at 6 a.m., but I don't take my medication until 10 a.m.? Then Check it again before you take your medication, right? I don't want you to um, take your uh, medication blindly. I want you to check your numbers. And you can say, um, well, and I take my medication, you know, at eight o'clock at night. Check it before you check it, before you take your medication. Check it, okay? Check it before you, always check it before you take the medication. Once you start doing the work, that thing can happen uh, quite, uh, quite fast, okay? Um, pretty quickly. And so what happens is, you don't want to take the blood pressure medication if your numbers are already normal because that will send you in a hypotensive state, okay? Instead of hypertensive, hypotensive, blood, uh, blood pressure can drop. You can get nauseous, lightheaded, all those things. Um, and it's not a good feeling, not a good feeling. So, um, so that's how often you should monitor it. And then what is considered a normal blood pressure? We talked about this already. A normal blood pressure is that top number below 120 and that bottom number, right, below 80. That is typically where you want your numbers to be. I checked mine this morning. I'm sorry, not this morning. It was actually this afternoon. And my number was uh, 107. I think it was 107 over 74. Excellent blood pressure, okay? 107 over 74. And I think I checked that it. it was probably around 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, so I don't know. Uh, this morning, though, when I checked it, it was uh, 98. I think it was 98 over 65. Phenomenal, okay? Phenomenal. That was first thing in the morning before I got into my day. Um, but I checked it again at like four. It's probably like 4 30. It was 107 over 74, which is still great blood pressure. So there you have it. Um, medication is not necessary to control your blood uh, pressure. You do the work, you can get the results. Um, definitely, there are side effects as there are with every drug. Um, checking it first thing, as soon as you wake up, right before you go to bed. And then before you take medication, right? Um, and then you want that top number to be, be below 120 
and that bottom number to be below 80, okay? That's the skinny on the blood pressure, okay? Now stick around because the next video, we're going to talk about what you can do to lower your blood pressure, okay? Um, readings, meaning to normalize it and what, what lifestyle changes you can, um, you can do to help uh, control your high blood pressure. That's what we're going to talk about in the next video. So I hope um, you take, you took good notes with this. I hope this is helpful. Um, and stick around for the next video. That's all we have. We'll see you on the next video. We out. Peace.